Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be my July's um, haul video. I'm a little behind the ball. You know, life, working full time, you know, kids, all that great stuff. So I have a variety of, of things to go through from different places. I'll try to make this as quick as possible. Um, there's a few craft items in this haul um, that I'm gonna try using in coloring, so. That's why it's in this haul. Um, so I was in one of our local thrift stores and they had a bin marked for wood, these wood stamps. And the lady ended up giving me a deal. So I was like, let me see what I can find in the bin. So I got this palm tree. And whether these are used in craft or coloring, you know, who knows, the moon and the sun. I also got this friendship sharing, loving, laughing, living um, stamp. And then here's a little bee stamp, which I thought was really cute. And they're all fairly uh, lightly used. And then I got this castle because it's just so cute. Then they had these um, they're all letters so I don't know if they're all in there but this was not the price I basically paid what I paid for I think I paid five bucks for all of those um, so that was it that I found uh, normally I find journals or things like that there um, and then this yes is not for uh, a coloring <clears throat> item it is a, a cookbook um, my grandfather gave it to my mom to give to me when she saw me and so i don't know if he picked it up or i imagine he picked it up or it, it could have been one of my grandmothers um she loved cookbooks and i'm very much like my grandmother i'm their oldest grandchild so i went everywhere with her and i miss her terribly so anyways um, the reason I wanted to show this was, um, because I think I'm going to color it, um, you guys, cause it just has really cute little illustrations and just to kind of do it in memory of my grandma. Um, so yeah. And I just thought, why not? And you know, it's, it's a thinner paper, but I use pencil on it. Um, but yeah, it was so cute, and in the back it actually has, um, like, these cards you can cut out for gift tags. Um, so it just, it just spoke to me, so that's why I was showing it. And that was Cozy Country Christmas by Vicki and Joanne. Yeah, I'm not sure. Their website is thegooseberrypatch.com. Started in 1984. Yeah. So, really cute. I was thankful that my pap thought of me. Um, and then I saw everyone um, going to Ollie's for the Artsia products. So I went over, unfortunately mine didn't really have much. Um, I was able to pick up these. These are the watercolor pencils. Um, they were 99 cents and there's three in each one of the, the colors, which I don't need three of you know each color, but um, I only really got, um, I just quickly picked out three co colors. Um, deep Teal, Storm Gray, Marmalade, Orange, Concrete Gray, and olive green. I'm just going to try them out because uh, I don't have these watercolor pencils and see what I think of them. Um, you know, and sorry for all the ums. I haven't recorded in a while. <laughs> and then I picked up these um, pearlescent cr cream sticks uh, from Crayola. I have other, you know, gel sticks and that kind of thing, but I just thought I would try these out um, for $7.99. can't eat it. 
and I definitely will use them in the background. And then I needed to get some like these things that I didn't really care about. So I went to the dollar store and these were in the like hardware section. Um, and they seem like they're a little bit thicker than the ones that were in the craft section. Like the foam is a little bit thicker. So um, I was going to use these for gessoing my pages because I've never done that yet. Um, and I want to give it a go. And then when I was there, if you guys didn't recall, I showed you the highlighters, the Gare highlighters from the dollar store for a dollar. I just went back and bought the whole container. The lady was like, you want to buy the whole container? I'm like, yeah, I want to buy the whole container. <laughs> like, uh, you want to think I had three heads? <laughs> like, no, yes, I want to buy the whole container. Jeez. Um, so that was it for the Dollar General. I think I might have said the Dollar Tree, but that was the Dollar General. Um, but then I did go to the Dollar Tree. Um, and a lot of these, um, I'm kind of up to something not color related. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, it, it, it's a certain, certain aspects of it is color related, but, um, I don't want to say anything until I'm actually in it. So, but I got picked up some stickers because of this project that I want to work on. Um, I thought these were really cool. These are glass stickers. Um, I'm actually going to use these in backgrounds in my coloring. Um, these stickers are mostly for this crafting project. Um, this also is going to be used in a background. I thought these were really awesome because you could put that behind an image and like it's a sticker. A lot easier. Um, that's horrible. <laughs> but, um, I like the effect. Uh, some more stickers. Um, now this is rub one transfers. So I have never done that before, but I figured I'd try it. What the hell? Um, some more stickers. More stickers. Oh, I got two of the same one. I wonder if I knew I did that. Oh, well. And then these, these are especially for, um, so I'm, I, I have my scrapbook or a swatch book, but I want to, and these ones here, um, I want to, basically what I want to do is journal, like do a, like a journal, uh, uh, my own journal cover with my own dividers, kind of like journaling, but then put in my swatch sheets for my coloring. If that makes any sense. Um, I've seen on another web, uh, another YouTuber's site, and I apologize, I cannot link it because I'd have to try to find it. Um, I tend to watch a lot of foreign um, videos and, and creators, uh, even not in English, even though I don't know any other languages, I, I just watch them and kind of try to pick up things. So I seen this uh, color swatch book you can get on a site in this other country, but it's all in another language and I don't see where you can order it in English. So I thought, well, why don't I just make my own? So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Um, got these stickers, these ones, these ones are going to be probably for um, coloring background as well as these ones. And these are just so cool. And I love the vintage looking ones. Jewels, some more leaves. Um, and these are kind of like the, the raised up ones. And then that was it. I know, I went kind of stupid crazy. That's and then I saw these metal storage things, so I thought I could get those for extra storage for paint pans. Try them out, see how I like them. And then, of course, those transfers. I thought I'm going to need this because I don't have one of these um, thingamajiggers. Scraper, craft scraper. 
And I also picked up this multi-purpose spray glue um, because I don't really have anything like that. So now that I'm kind of crafting and getting into other things, I thought oh, that's something I might need. And then I picked up a new um, coaster for my desk here, which you can't even see. It's a little plastic. I got my last one there and it just says blessed with a flower right here um, and it's starting to get kind of marked up so I got this do what you love and love what you do because that's what I'm doing not that it's color relating but it will be here on my coloring desk and then that was it for the Dollar Tree. And then I went to Michael's. Yeah, Michael's. And I needed to pick up some Prismacolors. Well, I guess I didn't need to. But I'm like down to one of that color, believe it or not. Because I heavily use them. So we got raspberry, olive green, apple green, chocolate, Goldenrod, Late Ombre, Sepia, Sepia, however you want to say it, and Parisian Green. Uh, I heavily use those colors, mainly the greens and the browns and the Goldenrod. Um, the raspberry, I just, I don't know what, I don't, I think I lost one because I feel like I don't use that one very often. But, I need a few other ones, but they just don't have them in stock on Michaels, so I have to order them online, um, open stock. Uh, when I was there, of course, I really should not have visited the acrylic paint aisle, but I picked up the Folk Arc Glitterific Pop. This is the Dragon Scales and the Unicorn Magic. It's like I go down that aisle and I just, I can't resist it. But I'm running out of room. And when you see the room tour, you'll see why. <sighs> I bought stories just for it and I'm just running out. <laughs> um, I also picked up this. I, I wasn't going to, I saw it in the store. I was going to get it. And I was like, nah. Um, it's just the Enchanted Ultra Black Base Coat Paint. Um, and I have other black paints. But then I saw it in somebody's video and I was like, yep, got to have it. And then I also picked up this um, Deco Art extreme sheen metallic paint uh gold 24 karat gold um for some projects and then i also while i was there i was looking for certain items and i found one of those and that was this um it's uh pebble peebles drawing gum I saw this on um, Color My World. Um, bless her, her, her husband just passed away. But I like to watch her tips and tricks videos and learn all kinds of stuff um, as far as things to try. Um, so this is one of those things and you apply this to your illustration and then you can watercolor around it and then you rub this off and the watercolor didn't get on your drawing or your illustration, whatever you're coloring. Um, so I got that. The other things I was looking for, they did not have there. So that was what I, the end of what I got at Michael's. So the other things I jumped onto Amazon and one of them I had items I've actually been watching for a while. Um, it was this Mod Podge iridescent acrylic sealer. Um, and she had this in her, t um, I don't know if this was in the tips and tricks one or one of her other videos, but anyways, she, you know, swears by this. Now she put it on Plaster Paris and it looked amazing. Um, I've never worked with Plaster Paris, so I'm not sure how it works. I don't know if when you put this on there, it, but it looked like, it looks like a galaxy, but she also had it sitting on a piece of black paper. So I don't know if it made the plaster ir, um, translucent and then the black paper underneath of it is what was projecting that so I'm trying to figure that one out um and I would just ask her but I'm not gonna bother her at this time 
So I use this in a page because, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> she uses it on an item and I use it in a page like a dummy. Um, but I think it might show me the results I wanted if I had put a background and I just sprayed it on white, which I don't know if the camera is actually picking it up, but there we go. That's what it looks like. So I think if I, if I would have had, you know, a back background, it would look differently. So I got to experiment some more, but this was my first attempt. And then when it didn't work out, I, you know, just tried to salvage the page. <laughs> so, and then next, next thing on her um, video was this triple thick. Um, deco art and I didn't see it in Michael's so uh, in my Michael's so I ended up um, and I don't know if I got that on there um, I ended up getting it and basically you know she was saying you can use it instead of glossy accents and so you know glossy accents um, I always have to stick a needle in the top to get it in this I don't it's right there I don't have to worry about it clogged up or nothing um, and I've actually used it in two pages. Now, it, just kind of like um, the glossy accents, the first time I used it, I didn't quite apply it right. So this one, I did apply two layers to get this result. Um, not 100% what I wanted, but I'm not sure if it's just because of the way the paper was taking it. So I'm not sure, and it could have been you know my error and then I also used it in this page here which I feel like is a little bit better Let's see how you can but maybe I should have done a second coat um the other thing that I've noticed like in person I can see like my brush strokes um so I'm also the foam things that's another you know, reason why I got them, because um, I'm gonna apply it with the foam instead and see if that actually works better for me. Um, and yeah. Another thing she's shown is this, or no, she didn't show this. I think somebody else showed this one. This is vintage gold, I don't know. I don't know who I watch. I watch everybody's stuff. <laughs> so it's really hard. I'm subscribed to a ton of uh, yeah, I watch a lot. Um, so this is Art Alchemy. I can't remember if she used this or not. But um, when they showed it in their video, if it was Color, Color My World or whoever, um, they showed it in a tin. And it, for some reason, I keep thinking it's somebody in the UK that had this. And they had it in a tin. Um, I could not find the tin, um, but this is basically essentially the same thing. Um, so I have to go back and see how to use that. That just came in not too long ago. Um, so the other things that I got from Amazon were some Luna pastes. And if you watched my last haul video, you would have heard me say that I wanted more of these. So that's what I did. I think I'm done for a while. Stellar Aqua. I guess I could show you what it looks like too. And Stellar Lemon. That one looks awesome. These do have a smell to them. So if you don't like smells, this one is Stellar Flamingo. Yeah, they do have a smell to them. It doesn't bother me too much, but then again, I don't know how much I actually smell. Stellar Mink. Some days I feel like I can smell fine and other days, like that one doesn't seem like it smells at all to me. I don't know, I don't know. So, and then that's, that my shelf should be full. My storage shelf that I bought and put on the wall in my office here for display should be full now. I should not buy anymore. <laughs> Let's hope that does not happen, but it could. 
I'll have to find another storage option. So um, the books that I got on Amazon, that's what we'll do next. Um, Little Bunny's Book of Thoughts. This is actually um, a storybook and someone else had shown it and I apologize. I don't write these things down and I, do, I really should. Um, I'm gonna really try it in the future to, to be better about it um, and give people some credit. But if you're watching, just watch everybody's hauls and what they do because you'll see it. Um, but I'm gonna color this one for my grandkids. And then um, the Cool and Beautiful Fun Fantasy Grayscale by Daria Kirk. Uh, I don't know how you say that last name. Um, and everybody has seen this. Um, I have one or two of her other books. I bought that image on. Let's see. But after seeing so many pages completed, I was like, yep, I got to get it. It was already on my wish list, but I don't know why I have to spend money. But Creative Haven, um, Celtic Mandalas, and I believe I might have said I was done buying Mandala books, but I saw it in somebody else's haul, and I don't know. It just, something said get it. So I did. And then Time of Wonders by Tyson. Uh, I've seen this on a few videos now. Um, they're just super cute illustrations. They kind of remind me of um, Mariella Boudek's cutie deck um QT characters or whatever oh my so yeah I thought I'd pick it up they have a romance one I think I might I think it's a romance or a love one I might pick that one up too because I've been seeing that in book cruise and it looks really cute this was not for me this was for my son um Luke a Minecraft coloring book for kids and I believe he's already colored in this so pretty basic illustrations there's one he did there's another one he did another one there and that one some kind of drawing. Yeah. So. And then he also picked out this Minecraft Xbox 360 edition coloring book. And they're pretty basic. I don't think he colored in this one yet. No. They're just like really basic compared to the other one. Not that you guys are pretty much interested in those, but I figured I bought them. I show them. They're coloring related. <laughs> and then I finally got my Coloring Haven Fledgling Fairy Special. Um, this was actually ordered on um, off of Etsy from their Etsy store. Um, I don't have a subscription. I only order the ones that I see when people flip through them that I like. And I don't really hunt for them anymore um, because I just order them from the Etsy store. They're not that expensive. So um, I did this one in the actual book. I have a lot of um, Christine Karen's books, so I I have a lot of the illustrations, but I really like her work. 
um, and I really like enjoy coloring it. So I did this one, super cute. It was like one of my favorites. I just seen this one done by I think Emma Colors. She did it. I was like, wait, that's the one I did, and I was like, wait, no, it isn't. <clears throat> Definitely, this is, um, some of these, like, this one seems different. I don't know, it just seems different than what she normally would do. I did this one in one of the books that I have. So these, I guess, are more like her line art. So I order all of her books in grayscale. I do have... I did have, I don't know if I still have, but I did have one that was not, I really like this one. I can't wait to do this one. Um, but I, like, I just didn't want to miss out on having any of these illustrations since they do exclusives. So, yeah, I'm so happy to have that. Um, the other that I ordered, um, I got some PDFs off Etsy. And I put them in this book um, a Christine Karen, another Christine Karen, another one, <laughs> another one. Shouldn't have been one. Let's see, this month again. And they, um, if you see images on this side, they were. I don't know what I did. I don't know why they're so faint colored, but I didn't want to waste the paper, so I printed on the other side of them. Um, and then I bought Mariella Bodek's Gnomes coloring book. So these are all of the gnomes that come in that. Sorry about the TV. My son, he's forever turning it up. And I'm like, turn it back down. And the cat doesn't want the door shut, so I can't shut the door. And then another cat comes in and pushes it open wider. Hi. And then this is the back cover. And then I bought this one because it was just so super cute. I just had to have it. She's just adorable, or he. And I bought this one as well. And then this one, um, this one is from Digital Morning on Etsy. Um, I was a little thrown off because I was like, wait, what? So in the image, basically you get the same girl and then they change the flower. So like, if you see here, this flower is different, but everything else is the same. So I wasn't sure about that. And then let's see, this one's even, so then they just, you know, or I guess it would be this front one. They took, you know, and took this out here and changed the, and then just this, so I was like, uh, I thought I was getting five different images, but it's all the same girl, just with different flowers in her hair. Um, so I wasn't real keen on that, um, but I also bought this one from from her. Um, so it says Digital Morning Etsy.com, Grayscale Coloring Page by Desi Georgieff. Georgieff. Um, and so you got multiple images in this one. I think it was four and this one and this one and this one or I bought this one separate. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was, that was the end of them. And then I just bought this image. Um, and she, I think it had a different, yeah, I think it was a, this one and then this background and a different background, but I didn't like the other background. So I didn't print it. Um, and then I got this because I was thinking about um, coloring this for my mom um, for for at the beach 
and frame it for her down there. And they they actually gave you multiple shades of this, um, I believe. Um, the only thing that threw me off was this arrow here. I'm like, why is there an arrow there? So I'm gonna try to take that out if I can. Cause I don't like that. Um, but that was the, the last of the PDFs that I bought on Etsy. And then one more thing that I ordered off of Etsy um, for <clears throat> paint was from Ioli. I went back on to get more of the night sky paint. Um, and she only had these quarter pans left. So I picked up four of them. I should have just bought them all. In hindsight now, I wish I would have. So, I might have to go back on there and see. And then I got this free sample. Um, but I absolutely love, 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 love this color. And it does really well for backgrounds, black backgrounds that look starry. And I tend to do them a lot. So, I'm going to throw a whole pan of them that I bought originally. So... I definitely, I really hope she can make more. Some of these watercolors you can't, so. But that's the end of this haul. Um, I apologize for how long it was. Normally I don't do them this long, but I probably talked a lot, so hopefully it wasn't too bad. Um, and I'm already on to July, and we also have a diamond haul um, that I'm gonna film next. So if you're interested in diamond painting, stick around and look out for that video. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Bye.